Hello everybody, it's Siftry again with a new gameplay video and today I'm gonna be playing the Slormancer. It's an ARPG, uh, like Diablo or Path of Exile, if you know the games. If you don't know the games, it's pretty much um, a loot fest, I guess. You defeat enemies to get loot to become stronger, so that you can defeat more enemies to get more loot to become even stronger. So let's start this right away. The new save file. I have played the game just a bit, about a year ago. So much strength. Come on. But for now, here you are. I'm waiting for you. First of all, my name's Brian. Brian McRipper. You have found and heard me. I'm the champion of the kingdom. I'm the charge of keeping the people safe thanks to my incredible abilities. I could talk about myself all day, but we don't have much time. Strange things are happening around the graveyard of the front. Skeletons are coming out of the ground and spreading terror. The graveyard who has given us a mission to fight and defeat them. So they can turn to work as soon as possible. However, uh, I'm facing a problem. A uh, personal nature that your furniture prevents me from taking care of this. That's why I'm calling great adventures like you. Innkeeper told me that you're a strong candidate and I must take that. Okay, personal mission. Who would like to participate? You know what? I have thought about this and as I have seen other people are mostly playing the knight or the mage, I will go for the huntress. Because I think nobody's going for the huntress. And also I like archers most of the time anyway, so <laughs> let's go for this. Ah, uh, not me, I'm here because I told you there would be croissants. Yeah, nice, she is also the croissant lady, so... Outlet resistance and vitality, that's ridiculous. Yes, I have a decent attack speed, that's what I care about. My damage is non-existent. No, I'm not in a chase at all. I don't care, let's pick the worst choice here. And I also can change whenever, so... Would have preferred someone else? What? Why? I can see you're lacking equipment. Why don't you start a visit with the old Adam Nostrum at the east of the village and ask him to give you one of my old weapons and then come back to me. Oh. And pick up my protein drink on the way, chief. Okay, I guess. The village is not that big, but I took a liberty making you too. Yeah, okay. Okay, my man. Thank you for the liberty. So, let's go east. WSD to move. You cannot support click to move. No, I don't care. Let's go WSD. I hope he means east and up. Is this the is this the icon for the quests? East is right, right? This is the king. Brian sent you. Yep. Let's go as east as possible. Adam Nostrus. Yep, that seems to be the quest icon. Among many other things, I am character of the shrine and champion of the Arak. That is from you. Brian McRipper sent you, didn't he? I do keep his old weapons. They're very precious. He's a champion of R after all. I should be able to give you something. Yes, hmm. Let me observe you. Hmm, I see. Hmm, maybe there's no. Hmm, yes, yes, for sure. Hmm, I've got this right arm for you. Didn't belong to Brian, but I think it's profit as us of yours. Slam the Slorm Reaper. A weapon that reaps the Slorm out of defeated enemies. They're usually for champions, but you should be fine. Bring it back when you're done, and good luck. Never. Give me the bow. Never. You're never getting it back. Now I can shoot. Let's go to other ch This is my bow now. I have no time to waste with adventure. You want to steal cheese from me? Is that it? Ah, you're here for Brian's drink. I didn't have time to make it, but uh, there's everything you need on the table right there. Just follow the instructions. This is a brand new recipe that I received this morning. Would you like to know what he drinks up? I don't care. Let's go. Cooking table. On the table, there's a piece of paper that says Proton, the drink of two champions. Produce protein and water in a flask. Shame. <laughs> The last line looks suspicious, yet you're a, not a cook. And you've been told to follow the instructions carefully, and Chef Jean Pierre is not very friendly. So, yeah, that's it's ready. The potato drink is ready. Okay, let's go. Off to the quest. Maybe I should have went from below. 
So yeah, uh, after I upload this video, I will live stream right away. Maybe uh, 20 minutes later or half a minute later, just so that you can catch up. But this is gonna be pretty much only the intro and then the real gameplay I will be streaming. So if you watch this video, come over and to join the stream to watch me play the game, I guess, if you like the basics that I'm showing out, showing right now. Ah, there you are. So you found a weapon, now you can get to it. Did you think about my protein drink shake? Yep, here, take it. Thank you. And it's poison. <laughs> I'm a rogue. Wait, wait what? No! My, no! <laughs> Wait, what? Whoopsie! What What happened to me? What happened to me? In the name of Farah, I'm completely dead. That's the end of me. My divine body, my muscles, my soul cable on the air. Just look at me, look at me, what have become. This is a disaster. Ooh. Okay, Brian, you're dead. It's, the end of the it's not the end of the world. You're just dead. It's not that bad. You're just a backup plan. Well, it's decided. You're on your own. I'm going to retire. Whoops, everybody's dead. Ah, well now, that's new. What happened to the others? You're a ghost, the others are... Uh, they, they invisibility. They, they, they are assassins. They were the bad guys. Help! Sir Brian, Sir Brian, help! It's a disaster, the villages have disappeared. Help us, Brian. What the? Sir Brian? This is a disaster, Sir Brian is dead, the champion's dead, everything's over, everything's over. No. Things are getting out of hand, so much retirement, for lack of anything better, I think you have. Yep, uh, let's go to the game. Let's start by going to the king, beware, the village is no longer safe. Time to fight. Left, left click to shoot. Yeah. The village is no longer safe. Oh no. As you can see, we are at the very basics of the basic. We can only shoot my normal skill here. Wow, I even missed. Okay. King, please speak to me. King, 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 my man. You need me to clear the game or something? Slorm, whenever you kill an enemy, you reap Slorm, the essence of the bullet and back to life. You will eventually be able to upgrade your skills with Slorm Rep. Okay, new Slorm Reaper found, the Adam Nostrus Bow, which does Slorm. Whenever you kill an enemy, you also reap the Slorm. Ah, I, I read that. Okay, it's a plus two range, raw damage. Okay, it's a simple bow. I now speak to him, thank you. Last hour, my fear arena gone. Ah, oh, who are you? You the adventurer? All oh, this is after all. You, what happened? Everything was going well, and then suddenly the fire nature, uh, the scout nature, uh, the blue flash, and everyone is gone. But also, this huge seal on my door. I can't get inside anymore. You're going to help me? That's temple. I don't think he can see me. I also feel like the apparition of this mysterious seal and the disappearance of the, the disappearance of the villagers happened right after my death. Could it be that? We could have taken a closer look at the seal. We should take a quick check. I knew it. You recognize it. It's a slow master seal. It can only be him. The vile scoundrel must have planned my assassination. He planned his own motion. I, I planned the assassination. He knew that only a champion like me could oppose him his immense power. And you died from a poison. Slow master is back. Listen. I can hear voices behind the door. Oh my god, oh my god. Here we go, the champion's dead, and I have deprived the old king of castle. Very slick, <laughs> slick move, yo. All we have left now is to take care of Alina so that I can finally get my old powers back. Evil underling, yes, master. Well, 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 someone is listening. I thought I made everyone disappear. That's fine, I have the other options. Uh oh. Oh no, I have been surrounded. King again. What just happened? Did you chat the seal? It's so confusing. My first last so no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Too much story. Too much story. Let's go to gameplay. I sent him on a mission. Disappear. Could you have what happened to him? Yes. Let's go to Alstor. Maybe we know what he'll do. Um, let's go, I guess. I would prefer if we would get thrown into a fight. Um, yeah, into fights right away. Okay, this is pretty much a fight, but... I'm sure you understand what they mean. 
Oh no. Okay, the seal spawns monsters, as you see. You took a hit, it was a trap. <laughs> Your life goes down, yeah, obviously. The strange experience. What a strange experience. I've seen some very weird things. Whoa, 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 we're gonna die here, yo. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I will not want to die. Well, can I speak to him? Let's hurry and talk to the king. I must talk to him about my terrible discovery. Well, we missed some... We missed some text, but... Whoa, he's faster than me. <laughs> this, this scoundrel. He's the bad guy. Whoa, my brave Alistair. What happened to you? My lord, I was on my way to the harbor when I suddenly found myself in a kind of prison made of shadows and storm. Everything was dark and slimy. I saw... I saw all sorts of strange things. Most of all, I saw him, him watching me. My lord, he was despicable. Described in tales, sinister and terrifying. There is no possible doubt about his identity. Oh my god, it's this lore monster. He's the one behind this. I suspected it. He chose the best moment to act. All in all, without the champion of Arach, no one can defeat... Oh, oh my god, <laughs> except Arach himself. We should all flee. In a bottom of my castle? Forget it, never. Let's think of a plan. I'm gonna start to... Uh, say whatever I <laughs> want in the text. I have a plan. We are going to des to destroy the seal and open the door and defeat the... Oh my god. My lord, what a brilliant plan. Brilliant, I'm telling you. Who would have thought about it? This seal is not like any seal, though. It's this Loromancer seal. It's indestructible. You say the seal's indestructible? Not a problem. <laughs> we just get explosives. Or a relic, the destroyer, which is like explosives. My lord, brilliant idea, but like all relics, the destroyer and the indestructible, the destroyer of indestructible and breakable seals have been hidden in the depths of. Wow, the, the text actually funny. It is buried under the crypt of the Macrib, Macribids, deep inside the graveyard of Adra. I know it, my faithful Alistar. But the graveyard is right next door. We have a. Uh, we have to get there and dig up and put it into plan. Put the plan into action. So his name Alistar, Alistar, Alistar. He, he's the evil guy. I'm, I'm sure about it. This is a demon name. <laughs> My lord, brilliant idea, brilliant. But to dig up the relic, we need a shovel. Well, there are no shovels in this game. Unfortunately, Pedro the Grave Digger uh, had the only shovel in the kingdom. Yeah, knew it. And we must find Pedro in order to find the shovel, in order to dig the destroy the destructible and breakable seals, and in order to destroy the seal of the defeat. Yeah, obviously. But my lord, brilliant idea. But what's going to do all this that the champion's dead? Who's gonna do it? Well the adventure Well, we should start shaping. Let's uh let's search the graveyard. Let's go. Uh well, I was not expecting so much text in the beginning of the game. <laughs> I was ready for gameplay, but seems like there is a bunch of Oh no. Pay respects. It's it's a meme guys. It's the F. <laughs> it's it's a meme. <laughs> let's go. Enter the graveyard. Ooh, let's uh, recommend level one. I am level one. Complete it with Ah, there is also to complete it with different characters. Come on, let's go, Pedro the Great Eagle. Let's find him. Okay, seems like breaking bases is giving us gold. Can I increase the map size? Okay, I need some skills here. Did I get a skill? You gain experience every time you slay an enemy and you have accumulated enough experience to gain a level. Whenever you level up, character attribute point uh, or press T. Okay. Attribute points. If this is this is your character trait menu from here, you can use your newly acquired points. No worries, you can undo and change your layout at any time for free. Okay, that means I will go for damage until I cannot survive it. <laughs> when when it says that you can reroll, just go full damage. So dexterity, um, attack speed, and damage. So I can swap these. Yeah, for now I will go dexterity and damage, armor, evasion, etc. Elemental resistance, etc. Max mana, etc. Elemental damage and mana, and so on, and movement speed. 
Slorm find. You know what, <laughs> just a heads up, this is the thing I most of the time pick in, in games. So finding gold, uh, having movement speed, going uh, max, finding things. <laughs> making the game easier. Actually making uh, the progress faster, not the game easier. <laughs> the game is becoming easier with the other things. But seems like I don't have any talent points to put it in any way. But I would have put the same damage and attack speed for now. Okay, seems like we find our first item. Equipment is I. Okay. You can equip items. So we found Thorns damage. Awesome. That's exactly the best item an archer can get. As everybody knows, the best item archers can get are when you are hit, <laughs> do, deal damage to the enemy. Everybody knows that. I'm obviously sarcastic. I don't know if it's audible. Could not have gotten something worse. Normally I should never get hit. Well, I can't shoot through walls. Whoa. Enemy archers. Okay, let's continue. I thought there was a kill multiplier, but it seems that it's disabled for now. Okay, that's pretty much the basics of the game. I was thinking about doing a half an hour run or something and then starting the live stream. So for now, let's go through the tutorial. We are we are still in the tutorial if it isn't visible. I'm not gonna gather money other than breaking the vases that are on my way. I will not be trying to gather every single money because I'm getting only 1 and 2 gold and I'm pretty sure I can get more later on faster. Elemental resistance and max mana. Uh, another... <laughs> okay, we're getting really bad items right now. <laughs> elemental resistance while the enemies don't seem to have elemental damage. And max mana while I don't have spells are pretty bad rolls. I got a level. I got damage, I got max life, mana regeneration, evasion, very nice. Secondary skill. You have unlocked a new skill that automatically becomes your secondary skill. Okay, it's the right... Ooh, very nice. This is your mana. Okay, simple enough. I'm guessing uh, the basics are pretty understood, but whenever you cast a spell, you you consume mana to, ca to cast it. <laughs> that's, that's the premise here. Use mana to cast a spell. I'm trying to cast whenever I have it ready. Nice. Let's gather the gold. Oh, okay. I can, if I hold it down, nobody's left. Let's go back to the village. I can turn into a door to make our travels easier. Look. Give me this. Is it gonna be defensive again? Max life and thorn damage. Still getting the worst items I could possibly get. Let's head home. Assuming that the breastplate always gives a HP, it's definitely the worst item I could have gotten because it gave HP and thorns. Okay, it even counts down what you got. So let's go. Pedro was in the first of the graveyard. Let's explore the next area. Ah, nice. Let's go off. What is this? Ah, it's the talent points. So let's go into collecting. As I said, half, oh, half movement speed. Awesome. Crazy, crazy big amount here. Half percent attack speed, four damage. Let's go for the raw damage for now. How much damage do we have? We have 68. So yeah, four damage is a high percentage of our max dam of our overall damage. And later on, I will rotate the passives over to other stats. Because half a point of movement speed is not going to do any difference, while that 4 damage of 60 is about 10% uh, more damage. It's about 5. No, it's, it's more than 5%. 5% would be 3. Okay, 2 shot. Nice. What is this? Let's go overall around. To 
gold, gold, gold. Not even know if it's worth it. I got hit. It was on purpose, everybody. I wanted to see how much damage the enemy do. <laughs> Okay, they take their sweet time to shoot. Close the breach. Okay, so I have to find the breach, it seems. As you can see, this is the basic gameplay. Right now, it might seem a bit boring, but the point is that later on, the enemies and myself, especially myself, are gonna do crazy stuff like... Okay, this was not on purpose. <laughs> Let's see, mastery. Your skill gained mastery level. It has become more powerful and upgrade are now available. Let's see to upgrade it. Let's see. You can invest in an unlocked skill upgrade by selecting and clicking invest. Oh, now I start using the currency. Okay, I get it. What are the choices here? This is my simple attack. So, man on kill, definitely not. <laughs> I don't have mana problems right now. Is this... Arrows showed an additional rebound chance. Okay, mana and chance to rebound. Arrow has a chance to fork. For now, let's go for a chance to fork. And maybe I rotate later on something else. I think I can only activate one, right? Let's uh, let's let's test here. Unequip. Equip. Yeah, I can only have one active. So let's have the fork chance active. And yeah, that's it. Let's also get our level up. Talent. As I said, I will continue with the raw damage until it's not that high percentage of the... Now it's 5% more damage pretty much because I all, almost have 80 and it gives me 4. So, it's a chance to split, right? Yeah, but every single arrow shot I do is wasting just a smidge of damage. If you look at the bottom right here, you can see that every time I shoot a normal arrow, it wastes MP. Oh, the fork happens after I hit somebody. Oh, nice. So it's better than the ricochet, in my opinion. Let's see what we found. Raw damage. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is elemental resistant. No, 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 no. <laughs> I only want damage. Damage, damage, damage. I'm a rogue. I'm a ranger, I know, but I'm a rogue. I'm an assassin. Seems like I missed. Nice. So the skills level up whenever you use them, at least that's what I have been told, or what I found out. Let's go on, finding the portal. Ah, that was a missed gauntlets. Attack speed and critical strike damage. Yep, now we start, now we find some things that are actually worthwhile. Nice. I see that there are a bunch of vases over here, but as I said before, I don't think it's worth it to go after the money. At least not when it's one gold. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that the game will have higher amounts of money later on. Okay. Will we fork anything? Okay. Pedro! Pedro! Wow! Um, Pedro, <laughs> Pedro seems to be like an evil guy. <laughs> you have released a villager that's trapped inside the breach. He will make his way back to Adrian. Okay. Mm, thank you for getting me out of here. I was weird experience. What? You need a shovel? You've come the right person. I have a great shovel, but let's get back to the village first. You go ahead. I'll meet you there. Okay, off we go. I think I will do another run and then I will most likely... Actually, I can do a uh, one or two more. Okay, breach is closed one against level two enemies. I am thankful for you getting me back. You look for a shovel, aren't you? Well, I have one. It's a very special shovel. It's useful to dig holes, but not only that. Thanks to brilliant modification, my shovel is also to point north. So strong. I call it the shovel compass. And I really care about it, but I lost it, or should I say, I threw it away. I was digging one of the most beautiful holes with it, a hole that wasn't too deep, nor too regular. Monsters, 
started coming up all around me. So I naturally fled with my le all my legs. I'm telling you, he's a monster. He has four legs. I'm battling my shovel compass to fate. You're going to get it, aren't you? It shouldn't be that far where you found me. Then why, why, why did we come back here if it wasn't far from there? Let's go get the shovel compass. A villager's back, Pedro. Pedro the villager. Let's go off to our next fight. Building the graveyard. Oh, Pedro is here. I left my shovel compass a little further away. You should easily find it. Only if a villain didn't snatch it from you. Is it a boss fight? Is it a boss fight reference? I can shoot through. Oh, nice. Aha. Okay, we start getting equipment slowly but surely. Wow! I thought he was behind behind the wall. Seems like the enemies have assassins in their ranks as well. Let's see. Thorns damage, no. Evasion, no. They actually evasion ah oh, no, be better <laughs> elemental resistance and max life. Uh you know what? Better than the better than the mana. Max life and raw damage. Definitely raw damage. We are going all in raw damage. Okay. Nice. The split happening once in a while is pretty... Wow. Uh, seems like the skeleton, the skeletons take a day to attack. <laughs> yeah, they take about a day to attack. Ah, you can uh, shoot through fences. Okay, got it. Right now, as you can see, I'm rushing. Wow, I'm rushing through the game as fast as possible. If I lose equipment or two, it won't really matter that much because we are really early in the game. Let's uh, let's get the point. We have 93 attack. I think I should start rotating over something else. Yeah, let's start gaining some movement speed. <laughs> I'm guessing at these breach points you have 10 elemental damage for every legendary equipment you're wearing. You know what? Let's get to this point. Ab abort this. I'm trying to get this big point here. Major trait. So this everything's giving me 4 while this is gonna give me 4 plus 10% critical strike damage. And this is gonna give me again and this then is gonna give me this skill is your secondary slot has a 15%. Yeah okay I get it. So the more you stay in one path the better. Um, half point attack speed at 5 you get you have plus 40 max reaper damage you have plus 4 reaper damage I'm assuming so reaper damage is something that I have not yet learned uh, but you know what I should actually do I should upgrade my skill here in a second my skill is at C right yeah let's upgrade this and make it better until it becomes 50% fork chance it's really nice that it shows you what the final version is gonna be raw damage and armor perfect I really want raw damage elemental resistance and evasion might as well equip it um, I hope evasion means that I straight up take zero damage if, when it procs because that's most of the time a very strong kind of defense I don't know if in this game evasion does not work on spells or something like that. Give me this. What did we find? Thorns damage. You know what? Might as well. It's stronger. And attack speed and elemental resistance. Let's equip right away. Yeah, I can right click to equip them. Let's see what we got. Raw damage. Yeah, more raw damage. I'm equipping it. I really don't care about other stats. The more red damage we have, the faster we go through this. And the only thing I have to do right now is avoid the enemies anyway. It's toast. Oh, nope. Oh, that's a, a dead end. The other one's a dead end as well. Might as well fight this. Oh, there is another one. Yeah, let's go on. Oop, a boss. A mini boss, I guess. 
Might as well farm some gold while we fight the boss. Yeah, might as well use the forking to kill the other enemies. Can I get the fork, please? Thank you. Nice. Multitasking. Elites. You just met an elite enemy. They are much stronger and more resistant to other enemies and also have different skills. Okay. He did not seem to have different skills. Ah, nice. I'm trying to get the forks happening. Evasion of X-Man instead of... Um, no, let's go on. I definitely don't care about max mana. Can I get the fork, please? Seems like I cannot really. Let's. Okay, now that we are getting four gold sometimes, I think it's worth it to break some vases. Oh, nice, we got hit. Let's continue. We are going correctly, I think. We found a helm. Armor and thorn damage. Now let's keep the evasion. Okay, let's uh, let's level up. Let's take the major note for the 10% critical strike damage. How much is our critical strike chance? What is this? Ah, okay, these are the stats. Wow, we have a bunch of stats here. Is it somewhere I can really quick at it? Critical strike chance, 5%. Awesome. That 10% critical strike damage is gonna be so not useful. <laughs> Let's spawn everything. Okay, let's get rid of the archers first. Does the split chain? I would like to know if the split chains. If the split chains, it's gonna be awesome. Oh, there is a kill multiplier. I thought there wasn't a kill multiplier. Can I keep it up? Yeah, let's keep it up. I don't think there are any more enemies though. Yeah, there aren't any more enemies. You are on a killing streak. Being on a killing streak is mostly far, but also slightly increase your slum find. This is mostly for fame. Ah, okay. <laughs> for fl fame or for flex? Pick it up. There's the shovel compass. It's a shovel with a compass. The compass looks broken. Yep, let's go over to Pietro. Uh, we are at the 32 minute mark. I was thinking about uh, ending it at the 32 minute mark, but I think the story will conclude now. So let's go over, conclude the story real fast. Shovel compass, thank you. I was so worried. But it's all broken. In the condition it will be difficult to dig a hole with it. But it does still point north. It's a compass on a stick. You would need a compass by any chance, would you? Otherwise, we can always fix it. I have a shovel compass repair kit that I left on the central square of the graveyard a little further away. It's it's a very special as an object. Let it go. Um, yeah, I will do one last run real quick. And then I will end the video here. Recommend level 5. Shovel compass. Yeah, I will do one last run. And then I'm off to the live stream, I guess. My shovel compass repair kit's not in the area, but we have to go through it. Well, that's strange. My shovel compass no longer points north. But that direction's over there. Maybe we should follow the way it's pointing. Where is it pointing? I mastered my right click and my simple attack is also level 3. Yeah, as you see whenever I use a skill it, it levels up. Let's destroy these enemies and look what we can get. Okay, let's 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 see. Okay, they unlock slowly. For now, let's uh, just get it at level 1, I guess. When you hit an enemy with our shot, he becomes track traps deal 10% increased damage to track the enemies. I don't even have traps, so let's not unlock it at all. Oh, I got my key mechanics here. Okay, I will look at them later. I'm not gonna read them, but if you want, you can pause and read them yourself. Architect of Death? What is this? Oh, awesome! I can be an assassin! Awesome! Awesome! Okay, I will look at this at the live. You know what? No, for now, let's go over it just for you to read. For anybody that's not joining the live, you can just read it. I'm going over them so you can pause and read them, but I will look at them later. So let's go over my skills here. What do I get? I got whenever you cast Rain of Arrows, if you are tormented, 
the first volley of Rain of Arrows will drop a Ravenous Dagger upon landing. Torment is this, the serenity of the first hunter is changing and various effects can occur if the tormented or delighted use it. The advantage whenever you cast a skill that is different from the last skill you cast. Okay, right now I don't even have two skills, so let's skip this. The first volley of rain, Ofaro has 30% chance to drop a trap. Okay, that's nice. And reduce the travel time of rain of arrows. So that makes it faster. Chance to make to do a trap. The trap, whenever enemy walks on trap, the trap triggers dealing 200 something, a bunch of damage. This is a 30% chance, this is a 50% and sure. Let's go for the... Let's go for the 100%. The trap sounds actually really good. Now nah, let's go for the trap. It also combos with this thing, so might as well unlock it. But I will go on investing on one more of this. And let's invest on the trap. And let's go. It's a chance. But now I'm marking the enemies to get destroyed by the traps. I guess it will most likely be helping out on some kind of boss fight. Because these enemies don't really survive anything. Evasion and thorns damage. Raw damage is better. Ah, I set up. Oh, I set up a trap and lost life for that. I'm not sure I like the traps. Uh, at least not now. Not right now because I am destroying everything on two shots. So the trap will never actually do anything. Attack speed, less attack speed, skip. Evasion, uh, skip. And max mana, max skip. Yeah, right now. Yeah, I definitely should not have picked up. The trap. Because it's never happening. Okay, let's try to keep the combo up. I'm assuming the combo is somewhere hidden and I cannot see it. Okay, right now I'm running out of mana. I cannot even shoot the right click anymore. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not good. Let's go on. Am I chaining kills? I don't even know if I'm chaining kills. I'm trying to use the boss to hit the enemies with the fork. <laughs> At least that was the plan. Doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, uh, setting up a trap, not really that good, especially if you have mana problems. <laughs> you are toast. Let's equip. Let's get some new equipment. Let's level up some mana regen. Is there mana regen? Straight up mana regen. This is max mana. This is attack speed, elemental damage. Yeah, there does not seem to be mana regen. Max mana. This is defensive. This is also defensive and offensive. That's a mana regen. This is the mana region one, but right now it will not give me mana region until I get over here. Should I transition over there? I don't think I should transition over there. Actually, let me try it for half a second. Might as well. 14 mana region seems to be a lot. Wait, come back. Give one over here. And let's let's try this. Why not? Yeah, that's a high amount of mana region. And let me also really quickly... Oh, I got a new skill. And let me also make this the, the one I use. I don't want the trap one. I don't care. And can I equip this? Equip on left click or on right click? Can I not equip it on one? You stab the enemy facing you. Your overall physical weakness, however, prevents you from dealing lots of damages. 57 damage. While my simple attack has... Okay, you know what? I want to try this on my right click. How fast is this? Okay, I can get used to this. Yeah, I like this. I like being more mo mobile. 
Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Bye. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, because the enemies are not really masses of enemies, I think this is gonna be more helpful here. Maybe not a good idea against bosses. But for now, it seems to be a good idea. Definitely against these guys. I might be wrong, actually, because I could uh, rain down. Yeah, let's... Uh, I like this. I like this, really, but... What am I doing? Enemy. Yeah, let's... For now, let's go for the rain. Because I have the man... I just... I just placed the mana region. This, this this really feels slow. You know what? Nah, because I'm ending the video in a bit. Let's 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 use this. Just for fun. Yeah, I like this more. It's more fun. I'm definitely gonna play something melee. I'm gonna play the assassin rogue, whatever, with this character. 37. Why? Oop. Help. Oh, I lost my damage multiplier. My kill multiplier. Yeah. The ledger came out of the breach. Looks like shovel compass point toward the direction of the nearest breach. We should use it to close breaches and save more villages. Yes, of course. Uh, the problem is that I never saw where the compass is. Uh, I'm guessing there was... I will find it whenever it shows up again. What an amazing experience. I have to go back to the village quickly to... Oh, but I see that you have a storm reaper. A storm reaper. I'm an expert myself. Come find me in the village. I can give you a tip or two. That's it. Okay, that's it. I guess the story did not conclude. Anyway, that is gonna be it for today. Uh, let's see if there is some story part happening right away. Because otherwise I will not, um, you know, record it. And I will be stopping this run and continuing over at the live stream. Are you saying that my shovel compass can locate breaches? It is really exceptional. But we still have to find my shovel compass repair kit. We should visit the villager we brought back. He will certainly have things to tell us. Peter Gergranium is back. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Should I speak to that guy? Yeah, let's speak to that guy real quick. So everything is nice and wrapped up, and then I'm definitely ending this. My name is Geranium. People often call me the Reaper Professor. Very nice. Slorm Reapers are exciting weapons, you know. They have a soul of their own, awakened by the Slorm. There are many of them, and each one has been forged as a champion of Ara of the past. For some Slorm Reapers are items to collect, others use them for fights. Give your incompetence in combat. You must be a collector like me. You have merit. You are a rare weapon and very hard to find. Incompetence? Okay, okay. I see. You use it to fight. Then let me help you. You're not using it to your full potential at all. Look. Click. Click. This is from now on. Your Slorm Reaper will become more powerful every time you absorb Slorm. Isn't it wonderful? Wonderful. You will be able to find that. Others during your adventure, but be careful, they are very rare. Come back to see me as soon as you find your first one. Slurm Reapers. Slurm Reapers are extremely rare items that can be found by destroying breaches. Each Slurm Reaper has a unique effect that usually changes the way you sh should use your skill. Awesome, 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 awesome. So, Slurm Reapers. This is the Slurm Reaper I have right now, right? Nope, nope. 
Ah, the, the, that was from the other class. Okay, got it. So this is my Sloan Reaper right now. Does anything happen? It's good to see you again. How are you doing with your collection? Let's see. You have an only one? You may... Okay. Yeah. Well, that's gonna be it. This time, for sure, we, we hit the 45-minute mark. It's a pretty good point to stop. For some reason, you know what? It seems like the color of the... Re the recording color seems to be a bit off. I just realized. Um, yeah, I will be fixing that. On the live stream, I hope it's bearable. I don't know. Uh, give me this always. I will all. I want to always look at this. So yeah, that's it for today. Uh, come over to the live stream. I should be streaming right now. So if you like the video, drop a like so that I know that people like this content. Otherwise, um, yeah. Also. Subscribe to the channel if you would like to know <laughs> whenever I live stream because that's how you get notified about me streaming because I'm streaming at YouTube most of the time. So yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you guys around.